Talking about your game at home uh, over the weekend against Alabama State. It was 19-18 for Alabama State. Uh, and we're moving forward into next weekend, so give us your reflections on Saturday and your prep for the upcoming play. Well, I can't be living with these one-point losses. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was one of those games that was actually um, – Winnable for us. Uh, unfortunately, before the game even started, my my kicker actually hurt himself in pregame, and um, you know we had to go for two on three occasions and came up short. Uh, that's the credit goes to Alabama State. But I feel good the way the kids play because they played hard, and uh, I also think we we played one of the top schools in our conference, and, and they played them hard and had an opportunity to pull it out, but it just didn't hey, happen. Um, well, uh, Coach, I have a quick question for you. Rushing game kind of um, suffered a little bit on Saturday, only 78 yards rushing while you had two, 300, 280 uh, in the air. Talk about that a little bit. Well, I think you got to give that credit to um, Alabama State defense. Um, you know, I think they came in here with the idea of making sure that we weren't able to run the football, which is pretty much our strong suit. And, and, and when that happened, you certainly got to give the opponent the credit, and, and that credit goes to um, their defense and the fact that, you know, we weren't able to um, execute some of the things that we would have liked to. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Don, how you doing? Hey, we're pretty good. Well, last year, you know, you guys got off to the 1-4 and four start on last year. Do you see some similarities, I guess more so in terms of some improvement that you could in the second half kind of get it going? I tell you what, it ain't fun looking at similarities last year. But, but you know, I kind of look at it a little differently because uh, I knew coming in here we was going to be so much younger than last year. I, I thought we were young last year, but, but when you think about your whole defensive front being gone, you know, losing seven guys on defense, uh, I knew it was going to be a tough one. I just hope that the young guys step up. But but I think they're playing better each week. I think that's what we're looking for. We, we play TCU. To, to me, I looked at it from a character-building situation. I didn't want anybody to quit, and they didn't. And I think the other night you saw the fact that they played hard, had opportunities to win, just wasn't able to bring it off. Yeah, and um, what about the play? I, I thought I saw in the box. I'm not having it in front of me, but uh, you you going with both with uh, both your son and and Frank Rivers? You say the play? Yeah, are you going with both quarterbacks? I I, I thought I saw. No, 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 no. no. Well, let's let's nick that in the bud. We don't have a quarterback controversy, or a two quarterback tier. DJ got cramps early in the third quarter. Okay. And was okay. unable to play the rest of the game. Okay. Yeah. This is Mark Gray from uh, HSRN. Yeah, hey, Mark. How you doing? Can you um, talk about the confidence that your team has right now? They wavering. I mean, you got young kids struggling as they learn this thing. Right. Some of them haven't been around through the comeback last year. So what's right. the confidence like? Well, I think I think that's the most important thing. And, and after the game, you know, I didn't come in and I didn't blast them. You know, I wanted, I wanted to walk out there with the head unbowed looking up. Uh, because, you know, we got a long ways to go. It ain't over till it's over. And, and we went through the same thing last year, just just unfortunate this year. We got more kids that hadn't played and a lot of younger guys that might not understand it. But I think as we keep preaching it, they might start buying into it. Yeah, so this is Roscoe. How you doing? Hey, Roscoe. Uh, how are you going to use this? What are you going to work on? Uh, what are you going to try to get accomplished during your time off? Well, you know, watching the tape, you know, uh, I've, I've always said, let's go in a game of football, there's about three to four, maybe five plays in a game that if, if one or two people had a done thing correctly, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about uh, going on three. And as we watch the tape, it's easy to find uh, three or four or five things that, that could have turned this whole thing around. And, and, and we got to go out and walk through it and show it to them and, and explain that, you know, if we, if we all work together and do this, it would happen. And that's, that's the one thing. And, and the other part is, hell, I'm talking to the soccer, the girls' soccer team, see, and I'm keeping it to point. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach, we thank you for joining us on the call this morning, and um, I, I guess we uh, enjoy the week off uh, before you get back to work next week, and um, we'll talk to you on Monday. Uh, we'll be working. We just want to be playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, man. All right. All right, guys. You have a good week.